Welcome to our channel. We're thrilled to have you here with us today. Today, we're diving into a subject that might keep you up at night, clutching your pepper spray and that novelty oversized key you bought online. Yes, the one you thought was just a quirky addition to your keychain. We're talking about the most dangerous small towns in America. These are places that, on the surface, seem like the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Now you might be thinking, small towns? Aren't those supposed to be charming havens of apple pies cooling on windowsills and friendly neighbors who still say howdy? And to that, I say, oh, you sweet summer child. Because while these towns may look like they belong in a Norman Rockwell painting, there's often more than meets the eye. Behind those idyllic facades, some small towns hide some seriously unsettling statistics. We're talking about places where the crime rates are shockingly high. We're talking about places where the violent crime rate is higher than the national average, making you question the safety of these seemingly peaceful communities. And the property crime rate? It makes you wonder if anyone even bothers locking their doors anymore. It's almost as if the sense of security has lulled residents into a false sense of safety. So buckle up, because we're about to take a road trip through some of America's most picturesque death traps. Just kidding, mostly. But seriously, these towns may look charming, but they hide some dark secrets. From hidden alleyways to eerie vibes, these towns have stories that will make you think twice about that quaint bed and breakfast you were planning to visit. Let's unpack that, shall we? We'll delve into the statistics, the stories, and the reasons behind why these small towns have become hotspots for crime. Stay tuned, because you won't want to miss this. Ah, uh, Emeryville, California. A place that, at first glance, seems like a hidden gem in the Bay Area. Nestled right across the bay from the glittering jewel of San Francisco, it offers a unique blend of urban convenience and small-town charm. This little town of roughly 12,000 seems to have it all. Stunning views, a vibrant art scene, and a community that prides itself on creativity and innovation. And let's not forget the coffee. Emeryville boasts more artisanal coffee shops per capita than you can shake a locally sourced fair trade stick at. It's a caffeine lover's paradise. But don't let that fool you because Emeryville also has another far less charming distinction. It boasts a violent crime rate that's more than double the national average. You see, Emeryville is a town of contrasts. It's a place where the old and new collide, creating a unique but sometimes unsettling atmosphere. On the one hand, you have gleaming office buildings housing tech giants and bustling shopping centers that attract visitors from all over the Bay Area. On the other hand, you have pockets of poverty and a history of gang activity that contribute to a level of crime that would make even the most hardened city dweller raise an eyebrow. Now, I know what you're thinking. John, you beautiful, cynical bastard, you're just cherry-picking statistics to fit your narrative. And to that, I say, first of all, how dare you? Second, even if I were, which I'm not, the numbers don't lie. Emeryville's violent crime rate is a staggering 1,357 per 100,000 people. To put that in perspective, the national average is around 388. That's a significant difference, to say the least. That means you're statistically more likely to be the victim of a violent crime in Emeryville than you are to find an affordable apartment in San Francisco. And trust me, that's saying something. The housing market in San Francisco is notoriously brutal, but it's not just the violent crime that's concerning. Property crime is also a major issue here. Emeryville's property crime rate is also through the roof, clocking in at over 6,000 per 100,000 people. That's higher than the national average by a factor of, well, a lot. It's a statistic that can't be ignored. So, what's behind these alarming statistics? Why does this seemingly idyllic town have such a dark underbelly? Well, like many things in life, it's complicated. There are multiple factors at play here. Some point to the town's proximity to Oakland, which has its own share of crime problems. The issues in Oakland often spill over into neighboring areas, including Emeryville. Others blame it on the rapid gentrification that's taken place in recent years, which has led to displacement and economic inequality. As new, wealthier residents move in, longtime residents are often pushed out, creating tension and instability. This economic disparity can lead to increased crime rates, as those who are struggling may turn to illegal activities out of desperation. Whatever the reasons, one thing's for sure. Emeryville is a town where you might want to invest in a good home security system. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind, or, you know, just move to a different town. Sometimes the best solution is to start fresh somewhere new, maybe one with fewer artisanal coffee shops and a slightly lower chance of getting mugged on your way to buy a $12 pour-over. Just a thought. After all, life is too short to live in fear, no matter how good the coffee is. 
Now let's mosey on down to the Deep South, shall we? A region known for its rich history, warm hospitality, and unfortunately, some of the highest crime rates in the country. Specifically, to Marksville, Louisiana, a town with a population just shy of 5,000, and a history that dates back to the days when mammoths roamed the earth. Literally. This quaint town, nestled in the heart of Avoyelles Parish, is a place where the past and present collide in fascinating ways. See, Marksville is home to the Marksville State Historic Site, which boasts a collection of prehistoric Native American mounds that are older than the pyramids. These mounds, built by the indigenous peoples of the area, serve as a testament to the rich cultural heritage that predates modern civilization by millennia. But unlike the pyramids, which are mostly just a tourist attraction these days, Marksville has a slightly more pressing concern, a violent crime rate that's more than three times the national average. This alarming statistic casts a shadow over the town's historical charm. Yes, you heard that right. Despite its small size and historical significance, Marksville grapples with a level of violence that is both shocking and disheartening. This town, with its charming southern drawls and its annual Cochon de Lay festival, look it up, it's delicious, also happens to be one of the most dangerous places to live in America. The festival, a celebration of community and culinary tradition, stands in stark contrast to the town's darker realities. So what gives? How does a town with such a rich cultural tapestry and close-knit community end up with such a high crime rate? Well, like many small towns in the South, Marksville has struggled with poverty, unemployment, and a lack of opportunity. These economic hardships have left many residents feeling trapped and desperate. The median household income is just over $30,000 a year, and the unemployment rate hovers around 8%. These figures paint a grim picture of economic stagnation and hardship. And when people are struggling to make ends meet, well, sometimes desperate times lead to desperate measures. The stress and frustration of financial instability can often manifest in ways that contribute to the town's crime problem. But it's not just economic factors at play here. The social fabric of Marksville is also frayed by other complex issues. Marksville also has a history of racial tension and a police department that's been accused of, shall we say, being less than impartial. These tensions have only exacerbated the town's struggles, creating an environment of mistrust and fear. In 2016, two officers were charged with manslaughter after shooting and killing a six-year-old boy during a traffic stop. This tragic incident not only shocked the community, but also brought national attention to the systemic issues within the local law enforcement. The incident sparked outrage and protests, and it highlighted the deep-seated problems that plague this small town. The community's response was a mix of grief, anger, and a desperate call for change. Now, I'm not saying that everyone in Marksville is running around with a gun and a grudge. Far from it. The town is filled with many kind-hearted individuals who are committed to making their community a better place. The vast majority of residents are good, hard-working people who just want to live their lives in peace. They are the backbone of this community, striving to overcome the challenges they face. But the fact remains that this town has a serious crime problem, one that can't be ignored. Addressing this issue requires a multifaceted approach that tackles both the symptoms and the root causes. So if you're planning a trip to Marksville to check out those prehistoric mounds, be sure to pack your common sense and your situational awareness. While the town's historical sites are undoubtedly worth visiting, it's important to stay vigilant and maybe consider investing in some travel insurance that covers getting caught in the crossfire of a drive-by pie-eating contest. After all, it's always better to be safe than sorry, especially in a place where the unexpected can happen. You know, just in case. Because in Marksville, the line between history and high crime is as thin as a slice of cochon de late pie. Well, folks, there you have it. A glimpse into the underbelly of small-town America, where the charm is often only skin-deep and the danger lurks around every corner. Okay, that might be a slight exaggeration, but the point is, these towns are a stark reminder that crime can happen anywhere, even in the most idyllic of settings. So, the next time you're feeling stressed out by the hustle and bustle of city life, and you find yourself daydreaming about moving to a quaint little town where the pace of life is slower and the neighbors still wave to each other over white picket fences, just remember, things aren't always what they seem. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Stay safe out there.